in a food chain, one organism eats another organism. That is what we saw in the first slide. The mouse eats the plants, the snake eats the mouse. You have the bird feeding on the plants, the snake feeding on the bird, and then the eagle feeding on the snake. Now, since one organism eats another, we can have two different words, predator and then a prey. Now, a predator is an animal that feeds on another animal. So the animal, over here we see a cheetah chasing another animal. It feeds on it, so the cheetah is the predator. The animal that is fed on by the predator is the prey. So this is the prey of the cheetah. A predator can also be preyed. Or a predator can also be preyed, be the prey of another organism. Sorry. Now, this ant here is eating this caterpillar. This ant could also be a prey of a bed. When the bed eats this ant, that means the bed is the predator of the ant. And then, but the ant also fed on the caterpillar. So the ant is also the predator of the caterpillar. The most powerful predators are mostly found at the end of the food chain. For example, a lion. Not many organisms can feed on a lion, can kill a lion and feed on it. So lions are usually at the end of a food chain. 